An explosion shook the capital of Sri Lanka today, one day after seven suicide bombers killed nearly 300 people on Easter Sunday. Today we learned Sri Lankan authorities were warned weeks ago about possible attacks by the group now being blamed for the carnage. Sri Lanka's government has named the group it says carried out the atrocities. Tawid Jamaat, a local extremist Islamic group, probably with outside help. On Sunday, the first bomb went off at the Shrine of St. Anthony, leaving scores of wounded and dead. On Monday, when people heard there was a suspicious van in the neighborhood, they ran. Another bomb went off as experts were trying to defuse it. Incredibly, there were no casualties. But people living nearby were furious with authorities they believe failed to protect them. A mob taking the law into its own hands battled police to get a hold of a man they decided was a terrorist, a sign of how much people are scared. Suicide bombers carried out the brazen attacks on three churches. On Easter Sunday, one of the most joyous days in the Christian calendar, there was overwhelming grief. The bombers also hit three luxury hotels in the capital as Sri Lankans and visitors gathered for brunch. Among the victims, four Americans, including fifth grade student Kieran Schaeferts de Souza and Dieter Kowalski from Denver, who was there on a business trip. His father is in shock. He was only 40 years old, and um, you never expect that uh, you would outlive your son. The government has admitted that security officials were warned more than a week ago that Sri Lankan churches could be attacked, but failed to act. While the organization Tawi Jamath is based in Sri Lanka, it's believed the group had outside help planning the attack.